Head to head is hard to hit ducks. You have to be a very good duck, high level ducker, you say, to be hitting it from space and head to head. Very good guys, it's probably best to go ear to ear. Because I did get under you, and head to head, like we talked to in the past, if Jed is really good with head position, I might have trouble getting my head past his head to head. So going for a duck, go ear to ear. I wanna take elbow control, outside tie, and my head is gonna to go to the same side. And I wanna say use this cautiously. I never wanna be super tight like a puzzle piece. I don't want to stick in here with his head in my head. Because when you're really tight, it doesn't matter what kind of moves you have, when you're really tight in this position, things get sticky, they're not as smooth. So you need a little space. Sometimes as coaches, we don't feel that space that you guys feel. Remember, you need a little space when you're ear to ear. You don't want it super tight. But for my duck unders, I'll come ear to ear like this here, just on the neck and the elbow. This is a basic duck. I got my same foot forward that I'm gonna duck, and I got elbow control. And when I hit this duck, it's all about a drop. So when I drop, I use, I take both feet. It's one step, but both feet move. Here, right there. And I wanna get my chest up and my head up. You know, there's a, I call it a sweet spot I aim for. Because a duck under is not a shot. A duck under is not a shot. And you see people doing the peekaboos where they treat it like a shot, like this, and then he steps back and cross face, and then you end up getting nothing. Huh? It's called a peekaboo. Oh, you guys get your head come up, but because you try to treat it like a shot, he can square up like he would do any shots. But when I do a, a duck under, I don't try to cover any ground. Come over here. I try to stand right. I want to stand right where I am and finish right where we stand. So it's all about the drop. From here, got my tie up. Look where I'm standing inside. When I hit this drop here, I'm dropping here. And we're dropping. Look where, where we landed. Pretty much where we hit, the move, move was executed. So I didn't cover any ground. It's about taking, got my neck. It's about taking one step with both feet and dropping your butt. I'm getting right underneath the armpit. And truth to be told, when 90% of clean ducks, all, that's all you have to do because they sprawl and you burn them. Very regularly, rarely do we have to transition to a double or something else. A good duck is gonna, I'm gonna hit his reaction button, his sprawl button, so when I go to duck and he sprawls, then we're good, boom. And that's how most ducks are when you hit it right. And clean, no fight, because it's duck under. But you guys up on your feet, do this motion. Can you move both feet together as one step and not, not separately? Look at my feet here. And, and if, he, if he was standing real high, then I don't have to go that low. Yep. Uh, if he's standing high, or he's really tall, I just look, yep. But if he's low, oh, jack is low, yeah, now I have to go down to my knee. This time, I hit three points. Three points. Look at this. One sound, both feet and your knee hitting the ground. You don't have to go to your knee, but if they're low, you go that low. If they're high, you adjust.